Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to use a vector diagram to resolve a single force into two forces, and this is for higher tier students only. In the last video we saw how to use a vector diagram to work out the resultant of two forces acting at an angle. In this video we're going to use vector diagrams again, but in this case we're going to take a single force and resolve it into two components, in other words two parts. Again this can look tricky, but it really isn't once you get the idea. I'm showing you here a horizontal force. As you can see, all of this force is acting in the horizontal direction. No part of this force is acting in the vertical direction. This shows a vertical force. In this case, all of this force is acting in the vertical direction and no part of the force is acting in the horizontal direction. This force is acting diagonally. What that means is that part of the force is acting horizontally, in other words, in the x direction, and part of the force is acting vertically, in other words, in the y direction. I'm going to show that by putting x and y axes on the diagram like this. So this shows the horizontal component of the force, and this shows the vertical component of the force. So we've taken a single force and resolved it into two components, and these two components must be at right angles to each other. Now we can do this for any force, and if we draw a vector diagram to scale, we can determine the magnitude of the horizontal and the vertical components. Here's a typical question. A 100 newton force is acting at an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of this force. So to answer this question, we draw a scale vector diagram of the force. We're going to use a scale of 1 centimeter equals 10 newtons. Here's the object that the force is acting on. First, we draw faint lines to show the horizontal and vertical axes. Using a protractor, we measure 35 degrees from the horizontal. We now use a ruler to draw the vector showing the 100 newton force. In this case, the vector will have a length of 10 centimeters. Now we draw dotted lines from the head of the vector to the horizontal and vertical axes. At this point, we can draw our horizontal and vertical components like this. Finally, we use a ruler to determine their magnitude. The horizontal component has a length of 8.3 centimeters, and the vertical component has a length of 5.7 centimeters. That means that the horizontal component has a magnitude of 83 newtons, and the vertical component has a magnitude of 57 newtons. I should point out that in the exam, it's a good idea to rub out any of the faint lines that you've used, so that you only show the vectors in the final answer. Okay, here's a question for you to try. A 75 newton force is acting at an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of this force. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, I'm using a scale of 1 centimeter equals 10 newtons. So here's the vector diagram. We now draw dotted lines from the head of the vector to the horizontal and vertical axes like this. And then we draw our horizontal and vertical components. Finally, we measure the lengths of these components and determine their magnitude. The horizontal component has a length of 7 centimeters, so this represents 70 newtons. And the vertical component has a length of 2.5 centimeters, so this represents 25 newtons. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on resolving forces in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 